Hey everybody and welcome to the lounge all my fellow loungers, chillers, ballers, and grillers. Well, I'm kind of excited because it's that time of the year again where we start getting ready for our family vacation to the Outer Banks. So today I wanted to just show you guys a little bit of what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to ask Tom to come out and help me get my fishing poles together and everything. But uh, hey, check this out. Yeah, I like Swedish fish. And got some, getting our stuff together already. I know we kind of start kind of early, but that's how we roll around here. I uh, got my beer all situated, some fishing stuff here. I uh, got some poles, some new poles there. Um, and I couldn't even tell if I even got them on the camera. Let me see. Okay, there they are right there. There's some fishing stuff there. And of course, the most important thing, Corona. So, we're gonna go out there. I have so many poles that I have to get ready and make sure that they all work. If not, I gotta work on them. Sometimes it just takes a little WD-40 and everything, so. Hey Tom. Yeah? I wanted to know if you would come out and help me get the fishing poles together for the trip. Already? We don't leave for a while. Yeah, I know, but this will be one last thing I have to do later on and I'll have them all ready and everything. It takes a while to do this because if they don't work, I gotta work on them to try to get them all working. All right, I mean, if I were to help you, how am I supposed to know if they're actually working or not? I don't know anything about fishing poles. Well, it's easy. You, you cast them out, you reel them in. It's a easy, pretty easy job. If, they, if everything works smoothly, everything's fine. I guess, but I mean, you pick like the hottest part of the day. Well, it's going to be hot from here for the rest of the summer, Tom, but... Well, yeah, but why, why can't we do it in the evening? You know, it's cooler. Because I got other stuff to do. Tom, you said if I asked you, you'd yeah, be I, willing to help, right? I know what I said. I'll, I'll come out and help you. All right. It shouldn't take... If, with two people, it shouldn't take too long at all. I hope not. All right, I'll meet you outside. Uh-huh. So, like I said, I'm really excited. This is... My favorite time, I mean, even like packing can be a pain in the neck and stuff. Still, it's fun when you're going away and especially to a place that, you know, you have fun going to. Let me grab my keys to my shed. Ugh. It is a hot one today. I love it though. Ooh. Camera didn't like that bright, that brightness. It's, I think it's supposed to be like 92 today. So I'm just jumping in the pool right after I get done sweating out here. Oh, uh, excuse the filter guys. The filter will be on. I could turn it off, but I, I don't feel like going through all that. Hey, you know what's really hard? To uh, unlock a lock with one hand and hold a camera with the other. But I did it anyway. That's right. I'm so talented. I know you guys are so impressed right now. Oh my gosh, this place is a mess. Who did this? Oh my goodness. Anyway, so here's all the poles over here. I don't know if you can even see them. Can you see them? I don't know. It's so dark in there. Um, ah, here you are. Yeah, here's a question. What? Like fishing poles in your brain. You've got like three already up next to the bike machine. There's four there, and I bring all. I bring as many as I can. Because sometimes something happens to them and you got extras. And we have, what, 11 people going. Fair enough. That's a lot of people. All right, so, all right, so what you're going to do, Tom, is you get the poles and hand them out one, the little poles. All right. right. Hand them out one at a time to me because we're going to do all the little ones first. Um, and then I'll try to cast them, see if they work and all that stuff. Okay. Right, here's a question. You're supposed to do that if you got a beer in that hand and a camera in the other. Well, maybe I'll switch. I don't know. I can cast with one hand. Well, it looks to me like you got no hands right now. You got an easy job. Just go in there and yeah, just... Yeah, I'll, I'll get them. Man, it's really nice out today. Here. Not that one. That's a big pole. Okay, well, they're in the way of the small poles. Well, we're doing them later. And besides, I don't even Jeez. take that one. How am I supposed to know See that? See these, all these little ones? One at a time. Yeah, sure. Uh, it's hot in that shit. Wow. It's hot in there, isn't it? Yeah, it is. 
It's like a sweat box. Okay. What? These things are like tangled or something. Not oh, for crying out loud. I get one and, like, all Let me see. Go it just I can't even see anything. Could you pull that string? Sure. What are you talking about? I, look at them. They're all tangled up. You tangled them all up, Tom. I didn't tangle them. They were tangled when I started. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Here, I'll, right. I'll take the camera. You figure that out because uh, you know how to do this. All right. Then I'll hand them out to you. What the heck did you do? That's a lot nicer out here, isn't it? A lot nicer than there. All right, there's one. All right. Ah. All right, here you go. All right. All right. You know how to cast that, right? That's different than the rest of them because that one you just pull this up. Okay. And then you have to let go of it when you're in the process of casting, right? All right. You know what I'm saying? I think. Tom. What? You push it up towards you, right? Yeah. Push and it then you me. then you cast, and we, as soon as the as soon as it, your the line's ready to go out, you let go of that thing. Okay. So. And then Tom, don't just a little cast, and then reel it in just to make sure everything works smoothly. All right. All right. Jeez. All right. Wow. This camera does not like to to go from dark to. Oh yeah. There's some nice cornhole things that I have there. But anyway, so now. Oh look, these weren't even tangled that bad. So I'm gonna get each one of these untangled here. There's two of them. Oh wow, some of the other ones are way down. Oh wow. Ugh. This is like a really oh, these are really tangled down in here. What the heck? Ugh. This is very frustrating when you have when your pole's tangled up with a bunch of other poles, that's kind of frustrating. Um, Tom, you ready for another one? Uh, not quite. All right. Uh, a huh? Uh, question. Are there fish in trees? Because if there are, I got one. What the heck, Tom? Yeah, I, I cast it and it's... Why did you cast it in a tree? I didn't mean to cast it in a tree. Tom, I told you to cast. I told you to cast a little bit out and reel it in. Well, I mean, where were you going for? In the next door neighbor's house? I was, I was casting it like you asked me to do. So She's I cast here. It. Let me, give me the pole. Yeah. What'd you do? Wrap it around it? I don't know. Oh, it's over one branch and on the other branch. Ugh. Jeez, Tom. Look, I don't know what I was doing. Great. Now I lost the whole rig and I gotta re-rig it. Uh, what do you want from me? I told you I don't know how to do this stuff. It's not rocket science. Science tree or whatever that word would be. Rocket science? Yeah, it's not that. I mean, you just just a little cast and reel it in. That's all I asked you to do. Well, how is that supposed to check if it actually works? But just a little cast, you're gonna cast it far and snaps. How, you know. Oh, all right. At least the hook stayed on. Just the weights came off. That's good. So did everything else work? Well, actually, you don't know. It reeled in, so. It yeah, and you know, considering what? that didn't work, and all that's really been happening out here is just, you tell me to do something, I try to do it, and apparently I just wind up doing everything wrong, so there you go. What? Obviously, I don't know what I'm doing, so. So you're just gonna leave me here? I don't know what I'm well, doing. Well, you know what? You're not going fishing then. I didn't plan to go fishing anyway. I don't even like fishing. Thanks for your help, Tom. No problem. Why would he cast up into a tree? I don't even understand it. 
I mean, you got all this open area right here. Why would you cast up into a tree? Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to do everything myself. Wonder if that was his big old plan just then, huh? Well, I really am gonna have to put the camera down now and and my beer and do all this stuff because I got to do it by myself. So, till next time, guys, grab yourself something cold to drink, put your feet up, and relax. I'll probably be still untangling fishing poles out here, and I'll meet you at the lounge.